This mother and child are in the early stages of a lifetime of exposure to sunlight. At risk is their vision. But the body attempts to defend itself in a number of ways. A part of that defense is the behavior of the ocular lens. Unseen to us, there is a yellowing of the lens that continues throughout our lives. The effect of this coloration is a selective filtration of the light that the retina perceives as violet and blue. This high-energy visible light is the most damaging part of the sunlight that reaches the retina and could increase the risks of macular degeneration. This natural defense begins when tryptophan is metabolized within the lens to form 3-hydroxycanuronine, which then polymerizes into the yellow-brown pigment, also called ocular lens pigment. A scientist in San Antonio is now utilizing a synthetic form of the ocular lens pigment to help cataract patients preserve their vision. Dr. Jim Gallus, CEO of Photoprotective Technologies, received a patent for the technology to incorporate the ocular lens pigment derived from 3-hydroxycanuronine into products like intraocular lenses. Because we can't see the lens of our eyes, we're generally unaware that it becomes tinted with age and that this tin actually protects our eyes from sunlight damage. We all know that UV increases the risk of cataracts, but laboratory tests suggest that uh, high energy visible light, what the eye perceives as violet and blue, could actually increase the risk of macular degeneration. The ocular lens pigment filters these high energy visible photons and therefore reduces the risk of macular degeneration. This is fortunate because the natural defense of the retina becomes compromised with age. Experts believe this darkening of the lens is a natural defense. Unfortunately, this often happens after significant damage to the retina has already occurred. We found a way to synthesize the yellow-brown pigment in the lab. We start with some common amino acids, tryptophan, 3-hydroxycanuronine, and then we produce a synthetic version of the ocular lens pigment. Then we chemically modify it so that it can be incorporated into plastic lenses. The potential benefits for cataract patients may be significant. Although the tinted lens protects the retina from sunlight, it is often removed during cataract surgery and replaced by a clear plastic lens. However, this clear lens no longer filters the high-energy blue light. The retina could therefore be more vulnerable at a time in a person's life when the eye's defense mechanism is compromised. And Gallus explains that children may also be at risk. The lens of a child's eye is crystal clear with no yellowing, so it causes no reduction of blue light. As a result, the potential for damage to the retina from sunlight might be significant at this stage. While the young mother may take great care to exercise and diet, and thus hope to have a greater life expectancy, this would also mean still more years of exposure to the sun. She could actually outlive her vision sensors, and her daughter's generation might live even longer and face even greater challenge to their vision.